gonna take a 22 millimeter socket, remove the lug nuts so we can take the wheel off. Now remove the wheel. Now I'm gonna remove this fastener for the ABS wire. Just use some needle nose pliers, just squeeze this tab right here for the wheel speed sensor. Then I'm gonna take this bolt out here and this bolt out of this bracket as well. Use a 10 millimeter socket. And take that out. Pull that bracket up. Now this and this one, take this bolt out. All right, now we have to loosen up this bolt over here. I just want to crack it free first, and then we'll loosen up the brake line. Use an 11 millimeter socket. All right, now I'm not gonna completely take that off yet. Just gonna take a little brake parts cleaner and just clean this area off. Let that dry. I'm gonna loosen this up. I'm gonna use a 9 16th line wrench. And just go back and forth. All right, so I was able to crack this free, but the nut on the top of this is not spinning from the line. It's actually frozen to the line a little bit. So what you can do is work this back and forth a little bit or you can take the hose off and just spin the hose off of that part. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'll take a 13 millimeter socket, take this bracket off here. Just take that bolt out. And then I'll take my 11 millimeter socket, take the banjo bolt out of here. And you wanna make sure the reservoir, the brake fluid reservoir is kind of full and do this fairly quickly. And I'll just spin this bracket. And that's pretty good right there. See if you can free that up a little bit and if not, then I'll just do the same, put the Put the new brake hose on the same way. Get this started. And just tighten this up. Just gonna use an adjustable wrench. Good and tight. Make sure the hose is run in the proper locations. And there's some new washers on this banjo bolt already. Get that started. Just like that. And snug that up. Now, before everything hydraulically is connected, now I'm just gonna loosen up the bleeder screw and we'll gravity bleed that. Let that go. Make sure you have a drain bucket. And then I'm gonna torque this bolt right here. So that bled some of the air out. We let that bleed for about three minutes. And I'll close this up. Snug that up for now. We're still gonna bleed it conventionally. And now I'm gonna torque this banjo bolt to 30 foot-pounds. And now we can put all the bolts back for the brackets. Take this one. And snug it down. And these two brackets, line these up. And put the bolt back in. 
And same with this one. And snug those both down. And the wheel speed sensor wiring harness. Just slide that in position, lock it in place. All right, and now you're gonna wanna have an assistant pump the brake pedal. So go ahead and pump the brake pedal three times slowly. And then hold it, and as they're holding it, use a 10 millimeter wrench, loosen up the bleeder screw. Make sure you have a catch pan to catch the fluid, and close it up. All right, pump it again three times, slowly. And then hold it. And then open the bleeder screw. And it doesn't seem like there's any air bubbles in there, so that's good. Pump it up one more time, three times. All right, hold it. And that looks good. All right, snug that down, pump it up. Feels good? Yeah. All right. And then you can check the brake fluid level in the reservoir. Make sure it's up to the max line. Adjust it if you need to. Now we can put the tire back on. Line it up. The lug nuts on. Now I'm going to torque these lug nuts to 140 foot pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Now just go around again, double check. 